spill your guts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got word vomit. All right, case. Obviously, we missed a week. That was on my that was my fault. I got a little busy. Couldn't make it. It's okay. Apologize. I know our um, listeners were upset. I'm, I'm sure ju- they were. I got a lot of text messages that Did said, you? yeah, I mean, when I say a lot, I mean like two. Uh, well, that's a shit ton because <laughs> I don't get many. <laughs> New podcast this week? Nah, couldn't do it. Couldn't, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I mean, if we start making a shit ton of money, then I won't have my other job interfere with this. So Yeah. I think we got to get like more listeners. Yeah. Should probably get some more social media media followers and also do it we do it for like a day I know it. and then we quit we had two fucking three tweets blow up and yeah, then nothing and then nothing. nothing and then it's like <laughs> no yeah, follows. fuck it hey I well, lo- if we didn't get six million follows off of this i don't know what it is so the one tweet with devin booker as the picture I, I like clicked on like the whatever the activity yeah not necessarily like how many likes and stuff but it was ridiculous amount of like thirteen thousand. yeah people saw it like and I didn't get one follow. Had 127 likes or something like that. It was over 100 likes. 22,000 people viewed it. It's it's one of these things of people with Twitter of likes mean nothing. So if you're on Twitter and you're fucking liking people's shit, that doesn't do anything. No. I mean, you're acknowledging to them that you were there. Yeah, I saw if, it. If they're looking at it. Yeah. But it doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. retweets are, are yeah. where it's at so like if you like something retweet it uh-huh. i mean unless Please. it's gonna get you fired or something yeah but, yeah don't want that. i mean don't do that then yeah. but uh yeah the likes weird mm-hmm. but, uh i was uh talking about twitter and what we were talking about pre-show because i seen the uh that uh jupiter's legacy got canceled yeah from it's, netflix I, could, it's I, could imagine, terrible. I could imagine it's it. terrible it never intrigued me now one bit. Uh, the last five minutes of this episodes oh shit some shit's going down mm-hmm. for season two yeah nope <laughs> no season two and that was i'd seen a tweet from elon musk mm-hmm. and i don't know what he was talking about but it reminded me of that and it just said like hey movies and games why don't you just start with the sequel yeah <laughs> yeah that's a good because point the first every day it's like hey we're gonna we gotta get this trilogy out so the first movie's gotta be this setup uh-huh and then the second one's gonna be it's like uh- yeah but you might not get a second, <laughs> second one, one, so you better bring a banger uh-huh. on the first one. Yeah. Or nobody cares. Nobody cares. And Jupiter's Legacy was horrible. I couldn't imagine it being any good just like on the previews. Like, it just didn't intrigue yeah. me one bit. Well, like the characters and stuff, like that Josh guy. Yeah. He's yeah, all right. Yeah. Leslie Bibb, love her. Mm-hmm. Of like, yeah, but you didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. You were a superhero show that really didn't do much superhero shit. Yeah, that's probably the problem. Yeah. No. Maybe you should do some super and your your bad guys were fucking terrible. <laughs> like the guy that was in prison, I didn't need to see him. <laughs> did you uh you see that the Witcher 2 coming out soon? When is it coming cuz I love I that just show. saw like the trailers coming out either today or tomorrow or something. So it's going to be soon. I don't know. I mean, I I really like that show mm-hmm. or I really like that girl dumping her tits out yeah. everywhere and fucking everything. <laughs> That was awesome. It was pretty good. She's smoking hot, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of that uh-huh. show. So I'm looking forward to season two, and I think Ted Lasso starts in a couple weeks or whatever. Okay, need some Ted Lasso, a little positivity <laughs> in the life going on. The uh, the um, the Netflix zombie TV show Black Summer. I don't know if you ever watched it or not. No, I've never even heard of it. Oh, it's uh. It got really good reviews. It came out what, two years ago. The first season did. And it's, I mean, it's zombies and stuff like that. I mean, you got to kind of like zombies to like it, but it's, yeah. it's like, they're all like nut zombies. Gotcha. They're not it's like the slow ones and it's pretty good. I mean, I think Zack Snyder's turned me off zombies yeah, with that that's... freaking piece of shit that he <laughs> dumped out there. Oh God. Oh my God. But yeah, the second season just came out today and it looked pretty good. I haven't watched it yeah, yet. I'm... I'm upset on, you know, because show wise, obviously yeah. we're hitting summertime mm-hmm. where everything's popping. Yeah, yeah, but like all your other shits <laughs> ending, mm-hmm. so you got that lag time. Yep. And I just told you before we started that I watched first episode of Loki, and I I loved it. Yeah. I like where they're going with it. Uh-huh. I don't. It could be a piece of shit. Yeah. I don't know, but I like the first episode. <laughs> yeah. But it's one you know with Disney Plus or whatever doing that 
hey, we're going to give you one show a week of like, hey, fuck yeah, you guys. Yeah, I know, I just I know the boys did that, uh -huh. but they gave you, here's three, yeah. and then we're going to go weekly. Uh -huh. Give me a couple yep. to, get going, to get going, you know? Yep. Yeah, my wife watches The uh, the Handmaid's Tale on Hulu. Yeah. And they kind of did that. They gave you like three and then like then they, one per week for like the next like two or three weeks or something like that. But yeah. So she was like excited. And then she's like, I think like last, this week was like the last week of it. And she's like, well, what do I watch now? I'm like, I don't know. Try something else. Maybe, maybe, you know, give something a shot. You yeah. Know? You got to give something a shot. And then I think we're, we're just in an era of like I told you, like I'll fast forward through parts of movies yeah. now, yeah. <laughs> especially like, like when Netflix came out with it. Hey, we're going to release a new movie every week. Mm -hmm. it's like, well, fucking 50 of them are going to be complete Terrible. dog shit. Terrible. Yeah. So you just fast forward through uh -huh. stuff and then it's just like you start watching a series or whatever. And then you just go, just don't be afraid to just dump it mm -hmm. and just be like, no, no, yeah. just going to move on here. Yeah. That's uh, it's tough times in the watching world right yeah. now. And I assume Ted Lasso is going to do the same thing where it's one, mm -hmm. one a week, one a week, yep. one a week. Yeah. Which sucks. That does suck. So we do have some sports news we didn't talk about last week. We didn't talk about the Julio Jones trade to the Titans. For nothing. For nothing. It For absolutely nothing. <laughs> it was it was a DeAndre Hopkins trade. I mean, literally the Falcons just were trying it seemed like they're just trying to get rid of him. Well then yeah, they needed to get rid of the money. Um because they didn't have enough they the, couldn't sign their rookies. Like the the only like I wanted more details of I wanted to I wish after the trade said and done, I wish that teams or the NFL, because the NFL has to know what's going on. I want to know the other team's offers. You know, I know they would never yeah, do that. No, they would never do because, that. Because, you know, or, and I want it, like, nobody ever said that he had a no trade clause. You know what I mean? Like, the really? The Titans were the only one to offer you that? That was the best offer? Yeah. Or did Julio just say, I don't want to go anywhere else but here? You know what I mean? I can't imagine that's the case because you don't have. It's not like you went to a juggernaut. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you know, it was like the day before, or two days before he goes, I want to go to a place that can contend and I want to go with a quarterback who has a big arm. <laughs> okay. You, you, okay. Contending in the AFC. I mean, are you better than the Chiefs? Well, yeah, that's you know either what I mean? way. Are you, that's, you know, are you, are you better, better than, than Bucks? Tampa? Yeah. I mean, I mean you know. yeah. But contending is being best in your division. Not even that. You didn't. You didn't win your division last year. No. It, I mean, I mean, you're not going to win it this year because the Colts are probably going to win it this year. That's what I'm saying. Like that's con like to me that's contending. Like if I'm him, I'm going to a contender in the division first. The Bills. You know, Ra right? Browns, Ravens, Steelers, any one of those teams. You know, I mean, I look into what KC is going to offer me. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I just it's things like that that. What what you know what I mean? And the, well, the thing that gets me is because everybody, you know, you hear all the talking heads going, well, you know, it's just his injuries and stuff it's like mm -hmm. no one time. Yeah. Last year, soft tissue injury mm -hmm. that you don't even know how bad it was. Yeah. He could have just because it was a shit team. Mm -hmm. Why am I going to hurt myself? for? Why, you know, yeah. hey, maybe we'll just hey, let's just mm -hmm. let you heal because we're not going anywhere. Yeah. Kind of what the Bengals did with A.J. Green. Yeah. That last year, they yeah, played like a, a game and, and well, a half. Well, he's always hurt. It's like, is he, though? Yeah. Or they just doesn't want to play because they're not any good. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's like, yeah, you get, you know, you can't give up draft picks for a guy like that. Why not? Why? Yeah. Who'd you pick with your second rounder? Yeah, exactly. That's fucking A.J. Green. Yeah. Or that's fucking. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I don't know. And then the other thing is funny. It's like, <laughs> then Calvin Ridley has to have foot surgery. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> like. There you go. Oh, great. Because if there's an injury-prone one on that team, then, it was Calvin Ridley. He yeah. never plays. How many times did we pick him on fantasy? Never and, plays. And, and tried to play. Yeah, it was... Uh, I just thought it was a weird place for him to go. Like, it didn't make any sense to me as a fan. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, it was like, really, the Titans? Like, I understand, like, you know, what's-his-face? A.J. Brown was, like, horribly deep. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely just going off that he wants you. Like, yeah. that makes you feel good. You know what I mean? But it was like, it, really, nobody else put in an offer? Because it could Cause have been... basically what they're saying when you see the, yes. it could, what it was. I mean, he says, if you're the Titans, and let's just say the... Or if you're the Falcons, let's just say the Titans were the first ones to throw that offer out there. Yeah. You didn't, like, hold off? Hey, you didn't call other teams? 
hey, this is what these guys are giving us. Can you do better? Like, you didn't do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you, it was just like, oh, they gave us this? Yep, send him away. Yeah. I just thought that was... I, I just find it weird that a place like the Colts or a place like the Browns, that mm-hmm. people that actually have some yeah. some flexibility yep. in the cap, they're like, well, it's just the cap number. It's just so... It's $15 million yeah. for... Julio Jones. Uh-huh. It's not a huge. That's I, not a huge number. It's not. And next year's cap hit is two million dollars. So what? Yeah. I mean, and I told you, you know, when all when he came out and said that he wanted to trade it, and I thought, you know, if if the Green Bay Packers are actually trying to solve something with Aaron Rodgers and not just wanting this whole thing to be keep spinning out of out of control, they would have done what they could to trade for him. Yeah. They would have tried, and they 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 it's wouldn't not what have. They do. It's not what they do, but you would have thought, "Hey, if we want to solve this, we fucked up. We should have got him some help because that's that's just what he wanted." You know what I mean? We would have at least put in an offer. You could have yeah. just. You mean nobody's going to tell you what the offer is? You could have just said, "Hey, you know, we're looking into the Julio Jones trade." Whether you actually did or not, be vocal about it. That way, it makes it look like you're trying something, and don't just fucking make comments that he's a he's an interesting guy or he's a whatever the hell he said about yeah. him. Well, that's the thing too, of like, then you get all these fans out there about, you know, you can't give up draft pick for this. Like name your last good draft pick. Yeah. People do it all the time. It's how about guys that know, you know, can play. Yeah. Yeah. Quit guessing. It's, that's, that's the whole that, point of you, trading. I mean, it's like, it's a very rare thing that your first round pick does anything. Mm-hmm. Half of them, Fuzz out. Never make it to their second contract. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's, that's, I mean, more team, you see the Seattle does it all the time. They trade for people that they know that are good. I mean, Kansas City just did it with, you know, offensive line. Indianapolis. You, Indianapolis did it with, you know. The force box. I mean, yeah, exactly. What do we need? Defense lineman. We know he's good. Let's trade for him. Oh, you mean we can get him for the 18th pick? Yeah. And he's going to be an all pro? Yep. I'm yeah, we'll go just go ahead and do that. Do that. Because my 18th pick's probably not going to be an all pro. No. Might not even play. Yeah, I, I, that one. It just it, it was just weird to me that that it just seemed like that was their best choice because you know you didn't hear anything else. You always heard you always heard of these teams and you know who was this and that and this and that and but like really like the Niners couldn't have matched it. You well, know that's what I mean? the other one too with like uh, like Green Bay and stuff. It's like well, he's already got Devontae Adams up there. It's like okay, name all the other teams that only have a wide receiver. Yeah, because you know when like one of them gets hurt and you have another stud that helps. Yeah. Big time. You're seeing it in the NBA right now. One guy goes down, your team sucks pretty much. That's the way it goes. Yeah. So we've covered the NBA. <laughs> that's all. It's <laughs> that's, needed. All, that's all it's needed. Um, yeah, it's just, I hope Julio balls out. I do too. And then everybody can just eat shit uh-huh. on me. Well, I still think I was right that we didn't need him. I, so here's part of me. And I know you'll agree with this because you hate the fucker. Tannehill wins the MVP. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Adam yeah. Gase said he couldn't play quarterback. Oh my god, that would be could, awesome. You know what I mean? Just he that is it the best you know trio of weapons that a team has. It's gonna make Derrick Henry so much better. That's what I'm saying. Is it the best? Because how do you bring a safety down? I mean, how do you do it? Yeah, I mean, A.J. Brown already proved last year that he's a monster by himself. And just the little snippets of the workouts of Julio Jones, like, oh, yeah, he's that much bigger than everybody. He's faster than everybody, jumps higher than everybody, and catches everything. Seems like the Derrick Henry of receivers. Yeah. He's just that much bigger, faster, stronger. Better than everybody. Better than everybody at his position. Like, they don't even talk about him. It's just like, yeah. yep, yep, that guy. That's him. We traded for him. Yep. I. You know, it's gonna it's gonna be really like bad when they suck. You know, yeah. when they don't win their division. Um, you know, because I I feel like Carson Wentz is gonna ball out this year. I hope he I, does. I just feel because it feels like it has to happen just to mm-hmm. stick it to Philly fans. Yeah. Hey, fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I know we won a Super Bowl two years ago. It's like our first one, but yeah. if we don't do it every year, get out. You yeah. know. All right, all right. Well, maybe it's the rest of the team that sucks too, because everybody seems to forget. Like, hey, you want to talk about why Julio's a big point? Philadelphia mm-hmm. receiver gets hurt. Okay, another receiver went down. All right, well, the season's over. Yeah, we don't have anybody to throw there's to. nobody to throw to. So now, if you there's nobody to throw to, you also can't run the ball because there's nobody to throw to. Yeah. So, and it's the NFL of. Oh, 
uh, we can just man up and then stack the box so, so they can't run. Well, they can't beat us then. Yeah. It's, uh, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. It's, uh, it's still interesting in that because now you're hearing, you're hearing less of Deshaun Watson, you know, court stuff and, and, you know, you're hearing less of it. Yeah. I don't really, honestly, we didn't hear you're much of it. You're not hearing anything. Uh, which either means one that, they're going to court or two that they're settling beforehand. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. No. Because he's getting suspended either way. It's just yes, how much how and much. how bad is it? Because yeah. you don't know anything yet. Exactly. And really, I mean, are you still trade? Are you. Nobody's. You, you can't. You can't trade for him. I mean, you could. Okay. So you're the. I mean, the, I'm just You're saying. the Denver Broncos and okay. you trade for Deshaun Watson. Yeah. Okay. So his court stuff doesn't. So he gets put on the commissioner's list. Mm hmm. So he doesn't play this next year. He hasn't done that yet, though. Season hadn't started yet. I mean, it's fucking June. They're not going to do that. Um, I'm just saying, like, you would hear something. No, you I wouldn't. mean, you'd hear something about it. Why? Because I mean, it's the NFL. They do that. Not in June. They don't. No, but I'm saying when many. I'm not saying you're trading him before. You, tra- no, you no, trade. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying I'm talking about like if you traded for him. <laughs> okay, like right and now. Got him right now. Okay, I'm not trading for him right now. Well, you might not be able to trade for him for the next year and a half. That's what I'm trying to say. I get what you're saying, but I'm saying if so everything is... You can't trade for him. Let's just I mean, say it's settled by July. He's suspended. They Obviously, he is getting suspended. We're not arguing about that. Yeah. He's, he's getting the, suspended. The chances of him playing within this next season are, are slim. very slim. Very slim. Probably not happening. Very slim. I don't know if it, I, if everything gets taken care of. I don't see him being put on the commissioner's list. It'd just be a flat out suspension. I think it'd just be a flat out suspension. I think he's going to go season. on the commission, commissioner's list because mm-hmm. the things I've seen is that it's going to court. Oh, okay. You know, that they're in settlement talks. Uh-huh. But if you haven't gotten the money out the door yet, mm-hmm. it's been a while. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's if probably it happens, not. it happens. But I'm saying if everything's settled and you know the number of games, yeah. then you trade for him. You know what I mean? That, that's, right. And that's in my head, whether that's smart or not. But he, he's still, whether. It's week one or week nine. It's still Deshaun Watson. You know yeah. what I mean? That's that's where my head's at. Yeah. No, it doesn't have to be. I'm not saying that Denver should trade for him. I'm just saying if well, somebody wants him. If he, I don't know if a team can trade for him for at least a year till next June. And hear me out on this. Because, say he settles. Yeah. If he settles you know, gets whatever suspension or whatever, because some of them talk to the NFL, so that Uh means he's getting suspended. He's got to come back and play Mm -hmm. for the Texans. There's no, like, in his, he can't just continue sitting out with Mm -hmm. all this shit. He's got to come back and play. Yeah. So if it settles, he has to go through the whole season before you can trade. Mm -hmm. Because one thing is, is some of that shit before, like, if you're a Bronco. Yeah. Before you trade for him, um, we need some of the settlement shit to leak out. Yeah. Because if we trade for you and it's like, oh, yeah, he was forcibly, you know, mm-hmm. trying to stick his dick in this girl's ear. Yeah. You, you know, if that shit comes out after you trade, oh, yeah, then you yeah, got to yeah. suspend it. I mean, yeah, that's no, the, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not so saying there's a whole year of shit that's got to come about mm-hmm. before you could even think about trading for him. Yeah. Now that I say that it'll be settled and he'll be <laughs> traded tomorrow. But <laughs> But that, that, no, I'm with that you. just I'm seems with you. like that's like the the steps that like the Antonio Brown uh-huh. thing of like had to set out the yeah, we're going to we need to like some of this shit needs to leak out uh-huh. before we can uh, yeah, do anything. Especially with the, you know, with the contract he's bringing because he already got broke <laughs> off. So. Yeah, yeah. God damn. It's uh, it's something, you know, that I mean, it's just something to talk about. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's interesting. And the that way nobody's that it, talking about nobody's him talking about at him. all. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird that it's it's not talked about. Typically, a I story think like I this, think a lot of people are just so scared because if you talk about it mm-hmm. and then a piece of information breaks, yeah, you look like you know. Why well, you look yeah. like of? Hey, nothing. He's gonna settle. Everything's fine, and then something leaks out. It's like, well, you're a you're a horrible person for yeah. saying that. <laughs> you were trying to make him look yeah. good, and, you know. Mm-hmm. So everybody just kind of yeah, that's eh, pump the old brakes on <laughs> yeah. this and. Yeah, and then just Aaron Rodgers, that whole saga is it's getting annoying. And it's not from him. No. Like the Packers, it's Green Bay. They're making it so much worse. Mark Murphy comes out and says, Hey, we need you know, we just need to keep this private. We're gonna do this. And then he comes out yeah. and starts like he's difficult hey, what you, or whatever. What, they, are you doing? what did they use? What word did they use? 
he's a whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It wasn't good. No. It wasn't bad, but no, it wasn't, but it wasn't good. good. It wasn't a positive thing to say. It wasn't helping. No. I mean, it's just either make deals, go get it taken care of, yeah. or shut the fuck up. Yeah. E- either trade him or fucking sign him. One of the two. Either way. Do one of them. Get it over with. It, it's. I would rather hear what the hell's going on with the whole Deshaun Watson thing than listen to the fucking Packers badmouth Aaron Rodgers anymore. Because until the first week of the season, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. I, I mean, yeah. everybody's like, well, I didn't show up for these mini camps. Who fucking cares? cares? A lot of people didn't show up. Yeah. My favorite part now is, you know, right, right when they thought that the whole thing was going to blow over, you heard him say, yeah. yeah, you know, Jordan Love, he's still, you know, still not ready yet. And then now that you're kind of thinking he's already, he didn't come to these mini camps, he didn't come to these this and that. They, oh, no, he's ready to go. Yeah, he's ready to go. And then they, and then he compared himself to Patrick Mahomes. Sure. He goes, well, we're similar in you know a deep ball and then just being playmakers. Yeah. <laughs> Except for he's not. Except for you're not and because he, he's very he's wildly inaccurate. Yes. Yeah, and, and it's one thing Patrick Mahomes is not. It's pretty accurate. I, I know Dan Orlovsky says a lot of weird shit. Uh huh. But you know, he was in the league for a long time. He's quarterback. I do believe him in that. He goes. I've never seen a quarterback fix an accuracy problem. Yeah. He's an inaccurate passer that might get a little better, Mm -hmm. but they never just jump to being the most accurate guy. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Like the one you already have. Uh Uh-huh. So Uh, guys that aren't accurate don't get accurate in the NFL. No, they don't. I mean, the window window gets smaller. smaller. Yeah. If anything, it gets worse. Yeah. Or you just, your system is built around short passes that you have to throw it there. And it's like comes out, you know, first day of mini camps, Tua throws six interceptions. Yeah. It's like, well, well that's the NFL. He's getting them out early. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the whole Jordan Love thing of like, hey, if this was your plan, just go with it. Either trade him, just trade him. Because just get, you got to get something. Yeah. And you're going to get something you're, out of him. And it's like, well, we can't afford the cap hit. You're taking it either way. Yeah. I, it doesn't matter. Mm hmm. It's dumb. It's just annoying now. Like, it was fun at first. You know, like, oh, is it going to happen? Who's he going to go to? Yeah. yeah now it's, now just it's like, fucking, do it or don't. Get the fuck over it. It's, piss, it's pissing me off as a Broncos fan, too, because they're not trading for him now. You know what I mean? It's like. They I, would if they, they could. They would if they could. But it's like almost that that time is getting too close to where it's, we got to get these guys ready. You know what I mean? Like, we got to yeah. get the people who are in-house good to go. If the trade comes available, sure, we'll put our names in on it, but it's like... Yeah, they're not going to change what they're doing. I don't the Denver Broncos could get Aaron Rodgers a week before yes, the season, then, then and by fine. week two, he'd be he'd be fine. fine. And I'm not worried about that, but it's like, God damn, do something, you know? I was like, yeah. I need to buy a jersey some point in time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, didn't get my number. I don't want to buy a Teddy jersey yeah. if he's not going to be the guy. I can't <laughs> yeah. have the, the backup quarterback. Yeah. I need to get my number 12 on, you know? Is that his number? Aaron Rodgers? Oh. I don't know what Teddy's got. Aaron Rodgers isn't going to be there. He's going to be in Green Bay. There's, I mean. Yeah, no, you're right, but you're not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going to be in Green Bay. There's no way that it all gets settled and he'll play and he'll get something. Because I think at the end of the day, he's not going to retire. Mm-hmm. And they're not going to do anything. Mm-hmm. They're going to make him make a decision. Yeah. And he's just going to skip most of training camp and then come back whenever it makes his 30 some million dollars fully guaranteed. Mm-hmm. Say, oh, make a decision now. Yep. Start me or don't. Oh, you want me to, you may sit on the bench while you play Jordan Love? Okay, we'll see okay. how that goes. Yeah. Thirty million yeah, that goes. Thirty million dollar backup. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. And then the other news that we missed um was the human bag of shit Russell Wilson came out to have oh, some yeah. things to yeah. what a fucking <laughs> douchebag that guy is. He you know he's I, a terrible person. I, <laughs> I've been saying it for a year and a half and you, like, oh, he's a good guy. No, he's a piece of shit. I would have laughed and been like, you know, he's not a piece of shit. What he has done these last two weeks, he's a fucking piece he's of shit. He's a piece of shit. I didn't ask to be traded. Oh, you mean it was just like all the people that fucking work for you, <laughs> you that have a checkmarked account as your yeah. team members? Yes, yeah, said that they you They said want, all that. Would yeah. you, did you fire any of them? Oh. No. Where'd they get that information? What? Well, I mean, I, I don't know. They just made it up. Oh, so you got people lying? Yeah. That you pay and you didn't do anything about it? Okay. You're a piece of shit, sir. Yeah. Jesus. 
and you're bad at football. And uh, he's bad the second half of the year. <laughs> well, he's bad at the football that he wants to play. Yeah. The, because he was really good when he let him have a running game. Mm-hmm. When it's like, no, 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 no. I, I, need, to, I, I need to throw, throw it 35, it. 40 times a game because this, this is how we mm-hmm. win. It's like, well, no, it's not. You gotta let because me cook. they let Russ cook. Well, Russ can't cook shit. Yeah. You're fucking burning eggs over there, pal. <laughs> I don't know what I that mean, means. I don't but either, but it it's seems like easy. Probably Co- smells bad. I'm sure eggs are easy to cook. You know, it's like. Well, I know <laughs> they are. I've done it before. Me too. But <laughs> it I don't know. sounded like you hadn't the way you said that. But <laughs> over easy is they're difficult. Well, who does that? Over easy. Yeah. It's not easy. Is that so where it's I... yolk? Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Oh. I mean, cook the yolk. Okay. You just want slimy yellow stuff all over? It like tastes... you're getting peed on? <laughs> I hope your peed isn't, isn't that substance of, of thickness. <laughs> you have issues. Oh, is it? It's well, it's been hot out and I haven't been drinking a lot of water. <laughs> it doesn't glob out, does it? <laughs> like the end of the, a Hulk gun? <laughs> yeah, it's the squeeze. It's like the squeezing the end of the toothpaste yeah. to get the urine out. All There's right. a visual for all the listeners. I <laughs> awesome. didn't miss it now last no. week, did you? <laughs> But yeah, uh, he's a bag of shit, and uh, he is. It's a good thing he's in Seattle, so and nobody then, pays attention. And then he jumps up on the podium with fucking Pete Carroll and like poses the picture, like ah, oh, we're buddy buddy. Like fucking and Pete Carroll <laughs> looked like get the fuck, fuck out of here. here. Like you're trying to ruin <laughs> uh-huh. people's life. Hey, you remember? Uh, you said you didn't say any of that, but uh, all those linemen in there that you said were fucking shitty at their job, they probably want to talk to you. Yeah, I mean, jackass, because you did say that. You did. No, I didn't. I never said any of that. Okay. Yep, just random people that work for you. Yeah. Saying a bunch of shit. In his defense, though, the Seattle needs to start trading those first round draft picks for fucking offensive linemen, though. I understand. Like, no, he, yeah, there, I, there's points he's to that. Valid of like, points, yes. Now, he runs himself into a lot of sacks mm-hmm. because he holds onto the ball. Nobody's blocking for nine seconds, pal. Mm-hmm. That shit ain't happening. No. But he has a point. But then again, you asked to be traded. Yeah, you did. So you took your shot. Yeah. It didn't fucking work. No, you tried to demand and they're like, it didn't work. Yeah. I think fucking John Snyder is like, yeah, he, I run this bitch. Yeah. He, he, I, I run this bitch. Like, you think you're somebody? Uh-huh. You're Cause not, you're not. You're not. Yeah. That's why you're not traded. That's why you're back, buddy. That's- we listened to you. Mm-hmm. In the Super Bowl when you threw an interception. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When we could have gave it to the guy named Beast Mode <laughs> and probably won another fucking Super Bowl. So, yeah. Fuck off. Pretty much. You're an okay quarterback. You are not elite. No. He is not. You're not at that level. Terrible fantasy quarterback, too. Yeah. Fucker. And if I didn't say it before, he's a bad human. Yeah, you did. You said it, I think, multiple times today. Today? Yeah. Well, he's pretty shitty. Yeah. And I hope that turned everybody on to what I see when I see Russell Wilson. I, I didn't. Go th- Hawks. Yeah. Go Hawks. <laughs> Come on, guys. Everybody get it. Hey, you're a fake as shit. Yeah. Take your positivity and shove it up your ass. Yeah. Go fuck off, pal. Uh-huh. You're, yeah. fu- you're fucking Wisconsin Badger. Ain't nobody worth a shit from there either. Yeah. Anyone anyway, the NC State, too. They suck. Yeah. Fuck you. Fucking NC State. Fucking Wolfpack. Yeah. Arr. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Sounds like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, but that was just the, the seeing that whole thing of him. Like, I didn't request to be traded. It's like, mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, all of your social media accounts said you did. I mean, yeah. We talked uh, about it. Just, no, I was on an interview with Dan Patrick and he asked about it. I was like, oh, you mean because they were tweeting out during your fucking interview, interview that seemed like you had it timed yeah. so it would be asked about. Well, no, yeah. Dan was just hitting me with some hard questions and I answered him. <laughs> No, no, it seems like you did that timed out so he would ask you that. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then then he says, uh, you know, I mean, they they something came out that maybe I was going to get traded, so I set a list of people I'd like to play for if Seattle was going to trade me. That's all I did. Yeah. Oh, you mean you requested a trade, trade and told them where you wanted, wanted to go? go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're all of the shit. All of them were in the NFC, so you're not getting traded? Yeah, cuz yeah. that's <laughs> not how the world works. Nope. Oh, Piece man. Of shit. Uh, did you see, we can kind of, I don't, do you have any more NFL stuff? Oh, uh, some Chicago fans being pissed off. Cause it sounds like they were going to move. So, you know, get away, get away from soldier field. Oh, they're going to build a new stadium. Seems like it. Oh, really? Yeah. They, uh, Chicago bears <laughs> tweeted out today that he put in an offer 
on a piece of property that used to be like a race, uh, horse racing track or mm-hmm. whatever, massive piece of property in Arlington, which is a suburb of Chicago. Yeah. Ooh. To build a new stadium. Ooh. And yeah, people, that's so people be- are like, now a lot of people are like, so good because Soldier Field's a shithole. Yeah. And there's <laughs> yeah. no parking uh-huh. and it's downtown. It fucking yeah, it's, sucks. It you sucks. can't get in there. Yeah. Everyone's like, you can't move away from Soldier Field. It's so, 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 so. It's like, and I start thinking of like Soldier Field. Like Soldier Field was built in like the 70s, wasn't uh-huh. it? So it's not like it's like fucking yeah. Fenway Park or uh, Wrigley exactly. Field. <laughs> yeah. But everybody, true. Oh, it's Soldier it's Field. Soldier it's Field. Like, oh, yeah, but it was built like built in the 70s uh-huh. so it's not like it's it's not yeah. this mecca and they haven't really done any like you don't ever hear about them like redoing it you no know what i mean like it's they, a shithole like they said like lambo's kind of a shithole too but it's yeah. but it's lambo field like yeah that's that's a landmark. lambo field yeah that's a freaking nfl staple yeah. you know what i mean <laughs> now everybody's pissed off because driving wise from where soldier field is to where the new one would be it's like fucking hour oh really <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's not it's in Arlington. It's yeah. not in Chicago. So we took. I took a tour of Soldier Field when I was a kid. We went to Chicago and we did all the. We did Wrigley. We did right. where the fuck the White Sox play. I don't even know what Comiskey it's called. Park probably then. And then, uh, and then Soldier Field it was pretty cool. I think that's what it was called. I don't remember much, honestly. I, I was probably like ten well, or twelve. I mean, it's a fucking concrete building with troughs. Yeah, get to go in the field. Did you? Yep. Sit on the big C. For cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. They weren't very good. <laughs> That's kind of what they are. Yeah. That, that's been an interesting topic, too, of like people just saying, ah, Justin Fields got to be the starter. Nope, Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton's starter. Matt Nagy Andy. says Andy Dalton's yeah. the starter. And it has to be Andy Dalton. Yeah. Because when you go <laughs> one and four, then you got like a maybe a shit team you're playing in the week six, and then you throw Justin Fields in, you get a win. Uh-huh. And you go, see, 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 don't fire us now. <laughs> yeah, we got the guy. We got the guy. We just had to get him ready. Yeah, and then week seven, yeah. they get fucking trounced by Green Bay. <laughs> That's what sucks for Justin Fields. Of like, Obviously, he knows. Like, you walk into a situation going, I mean, these coaches are going to be here next year. Yeah, there's exactly. No, I mean, Do I learn no the system? Way. Do I learn the system? <laughs> then it's a bear, so they're going to hire Adam Gase and yeah. ruin my career. <laughs> Peyton Manning's going to call him and say, no, no, he knows what he's doing. Okay, yeah, like he was calling the plays. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, but I thought that was funny because I went on Twitter to look at that. It's like, it's about 50-50 of like, you can't tear down Soldier Field. Mm-hmm. And the other's like, thank God this place is a shithole. You <laughs> yeah. can't park. You can't get there. You can't. I didn't know. That. I didn't see anything about yeah, that. Yeah, it happened this after like a couple hours ago oh, or okay. whatever. That's funny. It's like they can't because I think they might, they probably have a lease on Soldier Field, and so it's like twenty twenty three. They're like, mm-hmm. well, they can't do anything until twenty twenty three. It's like, oh, that's good because it takes about two years, years to, to build, build a stadium. stadium. <laughs> yeah, so they can get moving on that yeah. now. So when yeah. they can do it, yeah, it'll I, be open. I just I always find it weird, like when teams do that. Like, yeah. what do you do with the old one? I assume it. I don't know that they own it, so they'll just like tear the it down. city of Chicago owns it. I, maybe, yeah. Because didn't the didn't Atlanta do that? And in New Orleans, didn't they knock theirs down afterwards? Didn't they tear theirs down afterwards? Because I know Atlanta's is like literally right, right beside it. Right. So, I mean, you just knock that one down and make it a parking lot. You yeah. know, I mean, yeah, that's what they did in Cincinnati. Okay. Because, uh, you know, where Paul Brown is mm-hmm. and Great American is, yeah. like the parking lot in between that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where, that's where it was. That's okay. where Riverfront was. Gotcha. Okay. Which I think in one of the parking, like they have a, in the parking lot, they have like a home plate oh, that was actually where the gotcha. home plate was. Gotcha. gotcha. Out the parking lot. Gotcha. So if you're nostalgic about a circular donut looking stadium. Yeah. That's where it is. Which <laughs> the funny thing is, cause that was like the cookie cutter stadium uh-huh. for baseball teams. Yeah. Cause St. Louis's Pittsburgh, uh-huh. Cincinnati, they're all built in the same time. And they all mm-hmm. are exactly the same. Yeah. But then they start building great American. Well, they had to tear a chunk out of, um, riverfront yeah to to do that so they tore that chunk out so they could start building that while they're still playing they ripped the astroturf off put grass down and they removed a section to where you could see the rivers like this, I think this stadium be- looks pretty fuck cool, cool yeah, yeah. So I don't, maybe we don't need a new <laughs> yeah, one it's maybe we like, don't need one you can see the city and the river and stuff and then they get paul brown stadium built which is still the greatest deal any nfl player or owner has yeah like he pays nothing to the city mm. for the rent. Really? They I mean the city fucked it on that one. <laughs> like he 
He yeah. gets every like he gets like concessions, parking, every oh, ticket sale. It all goes to him. Yeah. And they put like a tax on like sodas and stuff like that, like uh, a sugar tax pop. in Cincinnati. Yeah. To pay for the stadium. Like oh, just shit. fucked over everybody in the city. <laughs> And then Paul Brown gets all the fucking money. That's funny. That's a, that's a horrid deal. Not Paul Brown, but Mike Brown. Yeah, does. Mike Brown. Yeah, Paul Brown Stadium. Yeah, yeah. It, it there's articles written on it of like this is like the worst deal any yeah, city has ever, ever made. Done. Of like, well, they said they were going to leave. Well, I mean, it's Bengals. So if they left, yeah, you do whatever you want. I I love the Bengals. Uh huh. And their fans are pretty good. Yeah, they're. I mean, they kind of. But at the end of the day, it's still Red's Town down there. I yeah. mean, it's not. You know. Yeah. I love the stadium. I've been there oh, multiple yeah. times. It's very, it looks very nice. nice on the outside. It does. Um, it's really nice inside. I've sat in multiple different spots in there, and it's yeah. been really nice. It's easy to it's easy to park too. I mean, that's probably the best part about it. You don't have to like Cleveland. You have to park a ways away. Oh, yeah. the, at least the, the couple times I've been, we were pretty far away. Yeah, there's one nice thing about with. Some, I mean, there's enough parking. You know, because mm-hmm. there's parking garages yeah. and stuff like right there mm-hmm. like it's you know yeah plus cross the river is pretty cool yeah cool bars mm-hmm. pretty fun spot to hang out yeah get drunk in kentucky yeah <laughs> i always love that too is like where are you flying out of uh the cincinnati yeah, airport that's kentucky. eight miles into kentucky. In kentucky yeah it's not just across the river it's, it's eight in, miles on the in, other side it's into kentucky i'm just gonna call it cincinnati, cincinnati. yeah and weird shit it is weird I don't even know how we got to talking about Cincinnati. I think it was about stadiums. Stadiums, yeah. Oh, yeah, with Chicago. I mm-hmm. assume the city probably owns it, it and they'll it just tear it down. Yeah. Make it something else. Yeah. Because I think make it what a pizza, you're going to see it a pizza place. <laughs> they bought it. It's a massive piece of property. Yeah. Has to be. So you're going to start seeing all these older ones when they start looking and going like what the Patriots did with their mm, city kind of. Yeah. Town-esque. Like they built, you know, Dallas yeah. and all mm-hmm. that. Like they have. We own the hotels. We own yeah. this. We own that. Of like, because mm-hmm. it comes at what uh, I think you heard it on McAfee's show of like when Jerry Jones did that. Every home game they make like seventy seven million dollars. Yeah, because they own everything around mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. So the other owner is going, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so we get none of the hotel or anything. How do we do? That? Yeah, maybe let's buy this other piece of property and like mm-hmm. make sure when they come to a game, like all the money comes yeah. to us, and nobody gets stabbed on the way home. Man, yeah, there's shot. another one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe move it out of Myrtle Capital. Yeah, pretty much. Just saying. Yeah. It's not the uh, safest place. Not the safest place at all. I don't know much about Arlington, though. So. I don't either. I don't think it's right. It's not right next to the lake. So maybe when you're in fucking November, it's not negative 18 <laughs> fucking degrees out there blowing off the lake. Uh, that's, that's funny. Oh, other thing we missed is like, Baseball players are pissed off that they're getting called out for cheating. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. I mean, it's a huge story. With the, uh, the pitchers. The, the yeah, spider the, tag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and then the guy has a UCL, UCA, UCL, uh-huh. whatever it is, strain in his arm. Mm-hmm. UC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not a third letter on that. Just a UC joint. Bit your shoulder. His elbow. I don't know then. I think it's a ligament. It's Tommy John. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It hadn't, like, it's... It's not there it's yet. It's not there yet. But it's so trying there. to rehab it to not do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> his statement was, basically, I'm injured now because you won't let me cheat anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's what he yeah. said. Yeah. I mean, obviously used other words of, well, I'm losing the grip and I'm still trying to throw and you're doing this mid-season. Yeah. If you want to get rid of it, get rid of it in the off-season. You mean get rid of something that was already illegal in the fucking rule book? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but that's just a baseball thing. Hey, we're just going to look the other way. Pretty much, yeah. And then it's funny, too. It's like, okay, we're going to you're getting suspended for 10 games if we find it. Uh-huh. It's shockingly, shockingly, they start checking it and some guys stop using it. And it's amazing how guys are getting fucking lit up. Yeah. Hey, you're the best pitcher in the game. Hey, can't use that shit. Oh, my God, you're not that good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it just fucking guys getting lit I, up left and right. See, like, what does it do for you, though? Is it like a grip or spin. is it spin? Okay. Spin. 
basically, so if you're throwing a fastball, yeah, obviously it's it's rotating backwards. Yep. You know, so on a you know sixty feet six inches is mm-hmm. what the mound is. So in that time frame, at you know ninety eight mile an hour, ninety six or whatever, it it drops however far. Yeah. Eight inches, whatever okay. a foot. Mm. So when you get that spin, mm-hmm. and we're talking about like normally they get fifteen hundred RPMs. Yeah. Now they get the spider tech. It's like four thousand RPMs. Oh, okay, I get you. So instead of dropping a foot, uh-huh. it only drops like four inches. Oh, okay. So if you actually watch it, because your eyes can't keep up, like you'll see when they throw a fastball, you'll see where it almost looks like it starts right going up in the air. Uh huh. That's what it's, it's not okay. doing that. Yeah. But it's not dropping like everything else. else. It's actually staying up. up. That's why players can't hit it because okay. it, lo- it looks like it's head up. Okay. I got you. You know, yeah. Well, now, you can't do that. You just throw a normal pitch. You know, now you throw a slider uh-huh. with, you know, 2,500 more RPMs on it. Well, fuck. Yeah, I mean, who is going to hit that? You just threw this 92 mile an hour and it broke seven feet. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. It makes sense. I mean, yeah. it's obviously it's illegal, but that is a baseball thing. It's like, they just, they let him uh-huh. go. Until everybody does and that, it. <laughs> that is the funny thing is, because I did see it on Instagram or something like that. But it, mm-hmm. this is from years ago, St. Louis and Molina was catching. And a pitcher threw it and it kind of, kind of one of those down in the dirt, but it kind of hit the plate and hopped up and he couldn't find the ball. Uh, it was stuck, stuck to his, his chest? chest protector. That's funny. It's like eight years ago. It's funny. So they've been letting them do this <laughs> shit, shit for this long. And now finally, like the, the batters are like, hey, you know, like you're paying us off of stats. Mm-hmm. If you don't let these fucking guys just cheat. Yeah. It's costing us money. Uh huh. So. Yeah. There we go. It was always one of those kind of, hey, we're going to put a little bit of this on our fingers because I'm throwing 98 mile an hour and I don't want to hit you in the head. Mm-hmm. Like, I, you know, because. I don't think a lot of people know like laces on an MLB ball, mm-hmm. like they're non-existent. Yeah. I mean, they're, yeah, you know, smooth. like a high school ball, like you can get a hold of the mm-hmm. laces. Major league ball, there's not a lot there. Yeah. So it's like, let me have a little more control so I don't hit you. Okay, man, cool. Don't hit me in the face. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, so now you're, yeah, now you're crazy cheating. Mm-hmm. And the shit you're using, the spider tack, do you know what that is? No. That's what the world's strongest men use on their hands so they don't drop those atlas stones. Oh, shit. They so put they, a little yeah. spider so they can... Yeah, stick on. So it doesn't, yeah. you know, so don't paralyze them, basically. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a quote from one of the pitchers that said the thing that scares him with that spider tack when they're talking about how sticky it is uh-huh. is that it's going to rip his, his, his skin it's off. It's going to rip his skin off when yeah. he pitches. So, like, that's how... Sticky and tacky yeah. it is. Wow. Because it used to be, they'd spit on it, then it was... The deer antler spray. Wasn't that part of it? That was a steroid, but... I thought that was... Wasn't it something with... They use uh, suntan lotion. Okay. And then the ta- the talcum powder out on okay. the mound. Yeah. You get a little sun... You get a little lotion on your finger, and then the talc kind of makes a paste. Paste. That gets just a little sticky. Yeah. And they'd use that. And then it's like, well, fuck it. They're not doing anything, so let's go ahead yeah, and... Yeah, use that. Just go ahead and lose, use some Gorilla Glue. Yeah. <laughs> and then I watched another clip of from last night, or I seen it last night. It was one of the Cleveland pitchers. Like, they're just showing him. Mm-hmm. Like, every time he gets the ball back, he, he keeps doing a bunch of shit with the ball. Yeah. And it's kind of like, oh, this is my routine. Like, he'll throw it in a glove, pop back out, flip it up in the air mm-hmm. as he's walking around the mound. <laughs> and then they panned in. And as he's doing this, like, he'll throw it in his glove, and then you'll see him reach for it with, like, his pinky and his thumb, and his other two fingers go up into the webbing and start rubbing the ends. Like, well, hey, man, like, we have fucking cameras, cameras. out here. We can certainly You're see you. You're really bad at hiding. Then the next it. time you came in and got your thumb on it. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> You're really bad at hiding, yeah. man. You're terrible. Try better. <laughs> Try better at it. That, that's the other thing of, like, it's not hard to check. Yeah. You're like, hey, you threw this pitch that didn't look right. Give me that ball. Yeah, exactly. Sticky. Get yeah, out. You're sticky. done. Yeah. You're done. Yeah, that's... But that's fuck baseball. Mm-hmm. Let the guys juice. Yeah. 
Now it's at the point you want to use that spider tack. All right, we're going to test you for steroids. We're not testing anybody else, only pitchers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> then you go, well, now, hold uh, on. <laughs> Because that was, uh, I think Trevor Bauer was the one that he was trying to figure it out. Uh huh. And that's what he'd said is like wherever he goes to Seattle, they start using TrackMan. Yeah. Which is they use for golf. It's like Bryson DeChambeau, that little box mm-hmm. he sets up. That's that's what that is. <laughs> he said he was working on getting a higher spin rate because the guys that were the best in the game just had high spin rates. Mm-hmm. He said I couldn't do it. You know, he's like worked a whole off season and gained like fifty RPMs. And goes, then you start hearing some rumors. So I, I tried it and it's like, I went up like 2000 RPMs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I guess this was just what we're doing now. Cause yeah. everybody, you know, everybody else is doing it. And he, you know, he's getting paid $40 million this year. Yeah. Cause until last year, like Trevor Bauer wasn't, yeah, no, you know, he, was, he won a Cy Young for the he Reds. He was okay. He was okay. Yeah. I mean, for the, he was a rotational guy for the Indians. For the Indians. Yeah. And then gets traded to Cincinnati, comes off the LC, wins a Cy Young. Yeah. I'm like, then gets paid forty million. It's like, yeah. Usually, you don't make these kind of steps at the highest level of baseball. Yeah. So, but mm. you know what'll happen? Mm. Absolutely like nothing. nothing. Yeah, because it's just the because it's baseball and it's they don't just care. a piece of metal. Guys, it's a piece of metal. Guys choose their way to a fucking World Series mm-hmm. using fucking buzzers on their chest and shit. And yeah. Nah. Just let it go. Let it go. Oh, God. Now, Pete Rose can't be in the Hall of Fame, though. No, because he bet on himself. Okay. Well, these guys are fucking cheap. No, he was a coach. Oh, yeah. He didn't even he didn't get caught till he was a fucking manager. And not even a good one. No, I yeah, mean, he was it. just. He's just. He was Pete Rose. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we're going to have him be the manager. Yeah. Because he's Pete Rose. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Suspended forever. All right. Well, he's still going to tell me he doesn't have the most fucking hits. Yeah. I walk those stairs in the stadium. I know that he has all those hits. Yep. A lot of stairs. Yeah. And they have, <laughs> you think about that. Like, if you ever go into the uh, museum mm-hmm. where they've got all the, all the balls? That's what I'm talking about. I've walked, walked those, those stairs. Yeah. At, look at all the balls. I was looking at it. I was like, that's yeah. a fuck ton of hits. It is. <laughs> how, how am I out of breath? Because <laughs> like, what is it? How many was it? I don't remember how many it was. Too many. It's like but six it's, flights of steps. Yeah, it's, like, it's <laughs> one of those yeah, things of like, hey, he's got this guy just came into the 3,000 hit club. It's like, yeah, you know, we're fucking close. close yeah. It's like, that's a, like, you're a Hall of Famer at 3,000 hits. Uh-huh. And it's like, yeah, you're not even, you're close not even this, in the dude. same fucking, mm-hmm. this isn't even anything. Yeah. It's funny. Sons of bitch. I know. It. Have, uh, did you hear about the, uh, the college football committee meeting to try to expand? Yeah. Did you see that? I heard about the four guys and that they're coming up with the 12 team and yeah. it's the top five conference champions, champions with top four getting buys. Something like that. Yeah. And then, but I think a lot of people mistook what that said. They said the top five highest rated conference champions. They mm-hmm. said, well, it's the power fives. No, no, no. no, no. That would have been Cincinnati last Cincinnati year. Cincinnati last year. Yeah. So they have a, they have a shot in, in, they don't have a buy. Basically saying, hey, the Pac-12 fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so all you got to do is if you go undefeated and win, because Pac-12 is going to, like, nobody knows they exist. Yeah. But then the fact that they said that they were talking about this for two fucking years. years. Yeah. We came up with that in, like, eight minutes. <laughs> I know. And we had a nice segment about it. It's like. What took I, you two fucking years? I. <sighs> and all these private meetings, and we had to draw up the brackets and see how it would look. And it's like. Well, it's, it's 12-team tournament. It's got to be better than the same fucking four teams year in and year out. It's got to be. Hey, do you, do you like money? Yeah. Uh-huh. Is money for the schools to get better programs a good thing? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then fucking do it. Uh-huh. We all know you're going to do it. Yeah. You know, act like uh, we got to do what's best for Fort. Nope. You oh. do what's best to bring in the most uh-huh. money. Exactly. And the four-team format with the same three out of four teams every single year isn't it. No. Let other teams make some money. And I hope get the fuck I, in. I mean, I hope, but the, but the only the worst fucking part about it is, is whenever they meet in a week or two, they're gonna like it's gonna be voted yes, but not until twenty twenty four. That's ex- they already yeah, said that. I mean, it's so like any changes won't be until the twenty twenty four season. It's, it's like, just why logistic, and it's like, well, we didn't need to do this, and we wanted to think about this for the bowl games. Like, when will you old fucking white assholes 
understand that nobody gives a flying fuck Ugh. about your bowl games. Nobody does. Nobody cares. The goddamn fucking potato bowl. Nobody gives a shit. Think, you know, it's just ruining the bowl games. You mean the one thing that college football does that makes zero <laughs> fucking sense that no other sport in the history of the world has ever done? Yeah, have bowl games. It's stupid. We're going to have our scrimmages after the season. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Have your fucking bowl game in the goddamn yeah. preseason. Mm-hmm. Fuck. It's stupid. I, I hope they do the 12th team. I, it would make sense. Literally, all you have to do is, yeah, we're going to make it for the 2022 season. You know what I, I, don't, mean? Know. I don't know if I've got picked up or not. <laughs> Got with kids with, yeah. with children laughing at a fart that maybe picked up on the it mic. It may, may or may not have. I don't oh, know. What God. It came out a little hotter than I fucking thought it was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think about your bowl games. Oh, fucking God. assholes. They are assholes. Sorry, what was you saying? I rudely interrupted. I was just saying, like, it could easily be done in 2022. Yeah. Like, like yeah, we're just going to do this next year. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You have a whole year to tell teams. We're going to add eight more teams. Oh, okay. <laughs> In an off season, the NFL added another fucking playoff game. Yeah. And a regular and season. took away a bye out of yes. the playoffs. Yeah. Hey, you know how you got two per two buys per conference? Only getting one, one now, now. And we're adding another team. Yeah. Okay. When okay. are we doing this? Now. Uh, this, now. now. We're now. doing this now. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, we did that. Now we're going to add an extra regular season game, too, next year. Yeah. Okay. Okay. College football. <laughs> Well, we're gonna make uh, we're gonna go from four teams to twelve, and that uh, gotta be three years. Twenty forty eight. Yeah, I think it's by the time we can make that happen. Get yeah. everybody on board. Like, shut the fuck, fuck out up. of here. Fucking piece of shit. Well, we gotta make these things with. You can't. I mean, in twenty twenty four, ESPN might not even be a company. Yeah, because that's it's going that's down. Who I mean, yeah, that's who you're talking. They're taking their best talent and offer, offering them fifty percent pay cuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're gonna leave. <laughs> This is what was Kenny Maine's like 60 some percent. Yeah. Hey, you can stay here uh, over half. Yeah. Is what we want back from you. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. No. When, what made you think that was going to be okay? This is the worst negotiating tactic yeah. I've ever heard in my life. Or ESPN. Yeah. That didn't mean shit. shit anymore. You're smaller than Barstool Sports. Yeah. I got to imagine that if Kenny Maine doesn't do his own thing, that Barstool is going to be like, yeah. We'll take you. Come over here. Do whatever you want. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, do whatever you want. Uh, as long as you don't do this mainstream stuff, just be you. Yeah. Be funny. Say wild shit. Yep. I think whatever could, you want. I think he could do that. I think he'd be phenomenal at that. Yes. I think what if Barstool got Kenny Maine just to do like he didn't like wouldn't have to do his own radio show. Mm -mm. It'd just be a podcast. Of just him one on one for an hour with somebody. Yeah. That's it. And I think it'd be phenomenal. Uh huh. Be good. And plus, he would get all the biggest guests People. because all He's the awesome. athletes fucking love, love him. him. Yeah, so. exactly. It's uh, good. ESPN's only concerned with Jeremy Schaap stories. Yeah. If you didn't have cancer, we don't care. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, what it is yeah i don't know what else happens they're playing soccer in europe that's cool we won something our soccer team did that's cool i don't I, think it means anything this is a tournament beat. between mexico and canada and the united mm -hmm. states like you know like the other countries are better in soccer than us but, yeah but we beat them but they're not on the level that the rest of the world's on <laughs> yeah. either so i don't know what that's it means point. but mm -hmm. we won mm-hmm Probably going to be a big deal. Probably. I I have, I literally can't think of anything else that happened. I don't know that anything else happened. I was really banking on the college football thing. That was my last thing I had in my head and I talked about it. Yeah. Cause, well, cause we, you know, nothing's going to happen. Yeah. Like it, they're going to, first of all, it's going to get shot down mm -hmm. and then it'll get passed. And I mean, it's going to get pushed until it, 2023, 2025 at earliest. I yeah. bet. Cause they're going to shoot it down. They're going to have to rework it. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to spend $100 million to study it. Yeah. Then they're going to have to pay $50 million to figure out how to implement it. <laughs> it's 12-team fucking playoffs. Just add... Like, Little League Baseball gets that shit figured out. <laughs> yeah. 
These yeah. four teams have a bye. The rest of them play each other. Mm-hmm. Then you play them. Oh, that's it? That's how you do it? <laughs> that's well, it. where are you going to play them? Uh, the first one, you just the better seed at their home stadium. Yeah. Second one, we're going to put them at these fucking bullshit bowl sites. Yeah. Then the other ones, we're going to put like they normally are. Yeah. Well, when do you do it? Week after the season. Like every other fucking playoff. Yeah. Stupid fuckers. Well, we got to give them time for finals. Why? Nope. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Didn't this last year? Yeah. Because <laughs> that was always the, oh, we can't get into this because we got finals and stuff. Didn't matter. Had championship reek right in the middle of fucking finals. <laughs> Nobody seemed to care because you got yeah. your money. Yeah, exactly. Fucking fuckers. shady fucks. God damn it. <laughs> it's pieces of shit. I don't know anything else that happened. I mean, Russell Wilson's bag of shit. <laughs> Coach K fucking sucks. We already talked about that. I know, but I, had to throw that I feel in like there. that always needs to be said. Of, okay. <laughs> let me tell you, a year in advance before I retire, so everybody can jerk me off as I go around the country. <laughs> Nobody likes you, K. K? Nobody likes you. K? Nobody knows no. <laughs> how to spell your name. <laughs> It's not Krzyzewski. I think we all fucking know that. Yeah. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> that's your first lie. Yeah, that's your first lie. <laughs> that's not your name. You told Zion that you'd won a championship. You had top two top five fucking picks. <laughs> you didn't and you win sucked. It. You got beat by Michigan State. Oh, that State. was the other story is people in Zion's family saying that they he won him out, out of town. Of town. Two fucking years. years. One year you only played 30 games. Yeah. Or 40 or whatever, whatever that it was. was. I don't know. <laughs> and then they, they fired Van Gundy. <laughs> one, it's like a five year contract. Coach one fuck get the fuck out. Yeah, they fired Alvin Gentry because he actually made it to the playoffs. So I was like, he didn't do good. Well, enough. he didn't. He didn't. No, he made it to the. <laughs> they he, finagled it. And he made it. To made it the, to a play. In. Yeah, the play in right, game. Well, we're gonna do this bubble, and then we're gonna figure out who get this. These teams qualify for the play in. Well, Zion and them is gonna be not out. in the bubble. Uh, well, we're gonna expand it to this to get this kid in here. <laughs> And then we're going to fire you, and then we're going to hire Van Gundy, because he did really well at places he's been. Yeah. And then uh, he didn't get the job done yet. We're going to fire you, too. To the Orlando Magic. Yeah. And the fucking Pistons. Yeah. Terrible with the Pistons. His uh, brother was at the Knicks. Mm-hmm. I think that was the one story I remember when he coached at the Knicks. It was, I think it was Jeff Van Gundy's car. Like, wherever he'd parked on the tarmac and, like, mm-hmm. got on the team jet. Yeah. <laughs> like, when it turned and fired up, it blew his car and flipped it over another car. Oh, like, shit. he parked in the wrong... Sp- like, this fucking hey, hilarious. Man, this, is, this is where the jet engines it's kind so- of fire up. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it could be a bullshit story, but I think I saw that, and I'm just oh. going to go with it. I like it. I mean, you're stupid. Like, it's not your... Like, it was, like, your first day on the team jet. Yeah. Like, I can understand it. Yeah. I guarantee it wasn't. You were no. late. You were late, and you just pulled in and got out. Kind of what they do. Yeah. That Gundy, my... is, is that your car? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching uh, before I came over here. Obviously, followed Derek Lewis. Yeah. And it's always the he's okay. Uh huh. Well, I watched one today of like, you know, you, know, you have to click the extra thing on Instagram. Uh-huh. And I'm like, okay, well, this should be a good one because yeah. somebody got <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> And, it, you know, he's always good. He's okay. Yeah. Well, it's like two guys, like, trying to rob a place, and then the guy comes out the back and fucking shoots him. It's like, <laughs> and he's, he's okay. like, he's okay. Well, he ran out of there, but I'm pretty sure he got hit a couple times. <laughs> like, he might not be okay 10 feet outside the door. I guess he was okay running out, it seemed. Shoo. <laughs> that guy's... He just posts some shit. He is just posts phenomenal. some crazy shit. Yeah. Yeah, we almost made it an hour before we ran out of shit to talk about. It's pretty good. And we stacked up two weeks of we shit. We did. But two weeks of off-season NFL shit. Nothing happening. MLB's a bunch of cheaters. Mm-hmm. All the big names are out of the fucking playoffs and <laughs> Basketball. the NBA. It's still almost July, and and we're not even in the championships yet. The conference championships. No. Holy fuck. It takes forever. And every big name, like Kevin Durant's the only one that's not injured. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kawhi just went down. Kawhi went down. Kyrie, I think Harden's back <laughs> that tonight. was my favorite thing. I think it was Boston Connor on McAfee's show. Yeah. Like, good, good, good thing he was uh, 
Kawhi's a big fan and doing all that load management so he wouldn't get hurt later in the season. <laughs> <laughs> Took all them games off, um, keep me fresh. Yeah. Fucking Granted, knee injuries yeah. happen, but it's yeah, like... Yeah, still. Yeah. Make a good point. And I seen LeBron came out, so this is what I was talking about. We shouldn't start up so fast and do this after the last... Like, shut the fuck up, LeBron. You never say the right thing. You suck. You're yeah. a pussy. You don't suck, but you're a pussy. Yeah, you're good at basketball. Well, you're Russell Wilson of the NBA. Yeah, no shit. Kind of what he is. Uh-huh. Your movie, Space Jam, is not going to be as good it, as the original. No, it's not. It, not even a little bit. I don't, why you even remake it? Why you do everything that Jordan has to do? You wear his fucking number. Yeah, not anymore. Which is weird. Not anymore. I'm going back to six. Okay. I'm going back to six. But <laughs> I always love that. It's like when they start having that conversation, oh, I'm better than Jordan or whatever. It's like you're wearing his fucking number. Mm-hmm. It's not your number. It's not your number. You know, unless they did that, like the. It's kind of a cool thing that they do in soccer where the best player on the team, they give you number 10. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. But that's just kind of the deal. Yeah. I mean, that'd be a cool thing. Yeah. Maybe a gimmick for the NBA. Hey, if you're the best player on your team, you wear number 23. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or 45. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Either one. I think. Chicago, that's what Chicago's got to have to do to get some fanfares. Maybe we're retiring number 45. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we already did 23. Yeah, let's do them. Retire this one. This one. <laughs> oh, God. You done? Yeah. Okay. Whiteside.